now. This um, little piece of rap that I'm singing is um, one verse. The other time that I, I did it, you know, it wasn't tight, but that's all right. Um, I don't know if it's going to be tight now because if I remember it properly, you know, I have to start practicing all the songs, you know, because they were stolen. And that's no big deal. That means that I have to really gear up and um, pull all the songs that I have in my head back out and rehearse them. And once I rehearse it, you know, because all singers have to rehearse, all rappers have to rehearse and tighten it up, you know, and then my flow has to be tight when I do it. Because I, when I hear people's flow off, I don't play that. So, you know, even though I'm having fun and um, I'm just putting it out there right now, I know my flow has to be tight because I will not accept that. Because when I hear, you know, certain things in music, you know, when it's out there to be sold, it needs to be excellent. You know, there are sometimes in um, gospel songs, though, when it's more important for um, the anointing to flow. And so if you hit a bum note and stuff, it's not really too important. You know, you know, you want that anointing to flow. So if people are blessed, you don't care if somebody, you know, missed the note. That's not what it's about. We praise God. But um, when you're flowing, you can also be excellent. You know, it would be better if you don't miss those notes. But if you do, make sure you tighten everything else up so you're good, so that your presentation will be received, so that people will even be more, you know, blessed. Like, even though they hit the bump note, it's like, I, I can't find a flaw because it was so awesome, so wonderful. Either it was anointed, it was inspiring, or something. You know, all songs that I do is not necessarily, um, like look like a scripture but they have the biblical message you know the things that i believe from the scripture not my own belief um so um but this song it sounds like just one of the regular ordinary raps but in actuality it's not it's based on scripture it's called one verse and it's saying one verse will put you in a hearse oops i think you dropped your purse you're bleeding you're gonna need a nurse i've laid out many but this is the worst i'm lyrically blessed you've been lyrically cursed and see coming into that part that's where you really see the scripture like as a christian you know i believe in christ i'm saved sanctified the holy ghost still speaking in tongues yes i speak in tongues i'm telling the whole youtube community i speak in tongues um and all of that you know fire baptized whatever you know the scripture says that's where you find me um but those who try to curse me, the Bible says they're cursed. You know, I'm, I'm blessed because I'm saved. You know, I accept Christ as my Savior. So, in actuality, that verse that I'm, I'm saying is actually scriptural. You know, so when I'm saying one verse will put you in the curse, life and death is in the power of the tongue, you know, and the word of God. It's called the word of God. And he also said to Israel, I put before you life and death, blessings and curse. You know, but it's in his word. It's in the word, you know, so Words have life and words have meaning. So that's why it's not okay to just say things flippantly and whatever. So I'm going to try the one verse to put you in a hurt. Um, one verse. And this is like, you know, even though I'm a Christian, like, I, I like battle rap. And I can find a way to be clever in battle without having to curse somebody out and do whatever. And, and be competitive in the rap world and still stand up against anybody. Anything that's out there, I can do it. You know, and I can represent God doing it, but I'm gonna let you hear this. Um, let's see if I start it right. One verse to put you in the hearse. Oops, I think you dropped your purse. You're bleeding, you're gonna need a nurse. I've laid out many, but this is the worst. I'm lyrically blessed, you've been lyrically cursed. One verse to put you in the hearse. It only takes one, it only takes one. One verse to put you in the hearse. Now, one verse to put you in the hearse. Don't curse, I know you thirst. But so did Jesus, so now your bubbles burst. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. First things first. And every tongue that rises up against me in judgment, I shall condemn them. Now, I remember all the words, but um, you're, you, you can get the vibe of it. I'm going to try it again because I don't... I'm trying to find my note. I'm singing like I got a frog in my throat. That means I'm singing from my throat, not from my diaphragm, which I know better. But, you know, because I'm I'm just putting, like, the songs on record as far as, um, like, because I don't have the paper form anymore. I'm just going to put it down. I, I know the notes and stuff like that. So I'll, um, you know, I'll get back to it. But um, I'm going to try it again. One verse to put you in the house. Oops, I think you dropped your purse. 
You're bleeding, you're gonna need less. I made up many, but this is the worst. I'm lyrically best, you made me lyrically first. One verse to put you in a verse. It only takes one, it only takes one. One verse to put you in a verse. Now, one verse to put you in a hearse. Don't curse, I know you thirst. But so did Jesus, so now your bubbles burst. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, first things first. And every time they rises up against me in judgment, I shall condemn them. Uh, something about worse. Um, no weapon formed against me shall prosper, first things first. And every time they rises up against me in judgment, it's cursed. It just gets worse. I laid them all out in just one verse. And then it goes back into the chorus.